Welcome to today's two minute tip. I'm gonna be showing you how to do something that's actually a little bit tricky in Adobe Photoshop if you don't know what you're doing. And that is cropping an image within a canvas. So to do this, I'm gonna show you two different ways. There's pros and cons to each and I'll explain them as we go. First off, I'm gonna bring in my image, which is from Unsplash. You can download this image in the link in the description below, as well as these project files. I'll paste it in here, click enter, and make sure that it's the layer directly above my rectangle, which is just a shape layer. I'll hold option or alt and click in between the two, and that will create a clipping mask or a quick mask. What's great about this is that I can move this image around and get it just like I want it in my frame. I can also click on my rectangle mask and I can adjust this independently of the image, which can be nice. The problem is that if you try to move it, you could lose your image altogether, which is not what you want. So you wanna hold shift and make sure you select both layers and then you can move them together. The real big benefit for this one is that you can adjust the shape freely. So I could add rounded corners if I like, which is really nice. Or I could take one of the corners and drag it in if I needed to. Uh, these are not options that you have on the second mode, which I'm gonna show you as well. Okay, we'll delete the clipping mask and I'm gonna get this image back down to size. Okay, so say I wanted to do the same thing, but I want it to be a little bit easier to move around. I can hold command and click this little layer area, which is gonna select the layer. I'll click the mask option and then I can toggle off this little lock button. And now I can move this mask freely, just like the other one. I can also change between my mask and my image and move my image freely as well. And the benefit of this is whenever this lock is toggled on, now everything will all move as one. There's no selecting multiple layers. It can be really a little bit easier if you're working with lots of images, but the only drawback is you can't do things like rounded corners, but you could also do interesting things with the mask. Maybe you wanna take off a piece of it with, a, with an eraser tool. You know, you, you have the option to do that. May not be what you want, but there's pros and cons to each of these options. So those are two simple ways to crop an image in Adobe Photoshop.